At first glance, Discord seems like a no-brainer for anyone who wants to chat, game, or collaborate online. It's polished, easy to use, and almost everyone you know is already on it. With features like integrated voice channels, customizable servers, and countless community-driven spaces, it's easy to see why it's become the default platform for so many of us. But not everything about the Discord experience is as perfect as it appears on the surface. It's neither its glossy exterior or some annoying problems with the platform that can leave you feeling frustrated. Maybe you've noticed a lack of deeper customization options, felt pushed towards pay tiers like Nitro, or wondered if there's more to Discord than what you get out of the box. Which brings us to today's video. A lot of people are beginning to ask, is there a way to keep what we love about Discord but with more customization? The answer might just lie in a powerful solution called Vencord, installed seamlessly using Vesktop. It's a tool that could bridge the gap between enjoying the familiar Discord ecosystem and finally having the customization, features, and freedom we've always wanted. In this video, I'm going to show you how Vencord works, how to set it up, and why it's becoming a must and alternative for anyone who wants to elevate their Discord experience. Alright, so to get things started, I'm going to go and show you some features of Vencord. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and head over to my user settings, and if I go and look here, we have an entirely new tab. The ones that we're mainly going to focus on are plugins as well as themes. Something really cool is that you have an entire list of plugins that you can install. A few of my personal favorite ones are, for example, Message Logger, which, I mean, it's kind of in the name. It literally just logs every single message. So, for example, I have my Subscribe to Cubic account. I can just send random things on my keyboard, and then if I go ahead and just hold on Shift and click on Delete, boom, it literally just logs my entire message, even though the whole thing is deleted. There are a lot of other cool ones as well, such as forcing owner crowns, fixing Spotify embeds, fixing image qualities, and a bunch of really cool quality of life features such as image zoom. And for all of you guys who do not have Discord Nitro, if I go and type in Nitro, there are a bunch of cool things such as fake Nitro, which if I go and click onto it, I can go and click on the cog wheel and you can see a bunch of features that it has, such as an emoji bypass, transforming emojis, as well as a sticker bypass, and one of my favorite ones, enable stream quality bypass, which normally Discord limits your stream quality to 720p, 30 FPS. But with this, you can literally stream at 4K 60 FPS, and Discord will just allow it. There are obviously a lot more, but I'm not going to go into every single one. But what this has is it also has themes. So if I were to go over to the Better Discord theme website, there are a bunch of really cool themes that I can add to Discord. I'm going to go and download this Dark Matter theme, which is just the first one that I found. And then inside of Vencord, I can just go and open up the themes folder, and then just drag it in. And then if I go and load the missing themes and just load Dark Matter, I now have a pretty cool Discord theme. All right, so now how you actually download it is go over to this website called vencord.dev. It's going to go and be in the description of the video as well as the comments. When you do it, it's literally as easy as clicking on download Vencord and then download Vencord installer.exe. So then whenever I run it, all I need to do is just click on the install button and then it should install it as long as Discord is closed. You can also go ahead and install OpenASR as well. All it does is make Discord perform a little bit faster. And then when you do, it's just going to go and relaunch Discord. And then you should have a new option when you go over to your user settings. This is the Vencord tab that I was talking about before. Now, a secondary option is going over to the second link in the description, also known as Vesktop. What this is is basically a third-party client for Discord, which instead of injecting, it's its own thing. So you can go and install the respective download for your system. Mine is going to be the Vesktop setup 1.5.4.exe. And then from there, it literally just works as a default Discord setup. So anyways, I'm very passionate about this for the sake of privacy, as well as the sake of you having a better Discord experience. So if you really like this video, go and smash that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video as per usual. Peace.